What's up, Cancer? This is your weekly reading. I'm back. It's good to be back. It's good to be back into the into the groove of shit. Um, I got my hands full this week, so I'm gonna take everything one day at a time. If you're new here, my name's Tori. I do these readings weekly. The, the schedule for this channel is linked in the description below. If you want a personal reading, that's in the description below. If you want to donate to the channel, one-time donation, kind of like a tip jar, that's linked in the description below. It's called Buy Me A Coffee. There will also be a link that'll come up in one of these cards um, at like the, the two, three minute mark. Um, stay tuned because I will be offering um, a little bit of a like coaching seminar launching in June. Want to become a patron? That's linked in the description below. To all my patrons, thank you for so, so much for being supportive and patient with me. Uh, that's that. Let's see what we got for the cancers. All this cancers. Oof, seven of wands. Okay. Kicking ass, taking names. Wow. King of wands, doing it with confidence. And the ace of swords in reverse. Okay. Um, ooh, queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. That's definitely our energy, cancer energy. This is us really genuinely, I feel like um, cancers this week are are in, in the element, but I mean, I know for me, have a, possibly a lot going on, feeling like you're needing to defend your, or like stand your ground in, in, in some sort of endeavor. It feels like an endeavor for sure. The Ace of Swords in reverse can sometimes feel like this energy of like being in the dark, right? So not fully having all the details that you need in order to push forward. But regardless, I feel like you're in this space where you're like, I don't care. I don't need all the details because I know what I want to achieve and I know what I want to accomplish. And I know how, like, how I want it to look. It's very, it's, it's feeling very um, visionary right? It feels as though you have an idea, you have this, you've had this spark, the spark has been lit. And now you're defending your idea. And you're, you're really standing your ground and going for what it is that you want, again, with confidence, the the first thing that I was drawn to in this card was the lion in the back, which, for me, the first thought that comes to mind is fierceness, right? It's this, um, I mean, some of some of y'all, some of us may be going through a lot of things, feeling like the world is kind of throwing things at us. But this is a good card that says that we're determined to uh, kick ass and take names at with all of the things that are being thrown at us. Right. The King of Wands is very fiery, passionate energy. It's very um it's, it's also entrepreneurial energy, right? Very independent and again, confident uh, and strong energy. And at the bottom of the deck is our energy. Like the, at the core is us, you know, we're needing to kind of take on this archetype um, right now, you know, standing your ground and, and being confident and, and, and um, saying things with convic conviction, it feels like. But um, at the core it is our love for whatever it is that we're doing or our love for the people that are around us um, and our intuition, trusting our gut and like really leading with love, but in a very strong way. That's what it feels like. Um, I love this for me, honestly, as a cancer, love this for me. This Ace of Swords, I still want to figure out what it means, but 
that's the general gist that I get just pulling these first three cards. Um, let's see. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Knight of Cups. I'll show you all the cards. Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Wow. Um, and the Hanged Man in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This is a card about, okay, so this could be somebody we're dealing with, or maybe we are in this energy of like, it, fe it, it almost feels like fake it till you make it with the Seven of Swords here, right? Um, it could be, honestly, maybe maybe we're, we're too much in our ego a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of ego. This is a card of deception. So for me, right, how this could apply to me. And the Knight of Cups is a card of, uh, it's the bringer of love. It's the bringer of hearts. It's the bringer of creativity and openness, right? This guy is coming to bring this cup to you and the cups are the purest form the, the ace of cups is the purest uh form of love it's, it's it's love and emotion in its purest essence right so you could be defending your heart or defending your emotions um protecting your heart and emotions or protecting yourself from somebody possibly because you have trust issues because this the seven of swords could definitely indicate trust issues in a situation if it's none of that it's uh you being a little bit in your ego and maybe trying to put on a face you know um trying to put on this face like you're stronger than you really are um and maybe this Ace of Swords in reverse and Ten of Wands in reverse is indicative of letting that mask go a little bit. It could be that, right? It could be like, because this, this sometimes can be a card, again, of deception. Um, I kind of want to. And the hanged man in reverse at the at the bottom of the deck. The hanged man represents in reverse, pointing. Why do I feel like I have a booger? Pointing fingers outward toward other people in an attempt to not face yourself and the things that you have to face, right? So it's this person's fault. It's that person's fault. When you really need to let go of that and kind of embrace the changes. You know what I mean? Um, but realistically, the hanged man in reverse is just an unwillingness to let go of something, unwillingness to surrender, a need to be in control all the time. And maybe that's what, where this comes in, where it's like, okay, you're needing to allocate some of your responsibilities elsewhere. You might be taking a lot of things on, like in the workplace, let's say, because you don't trust other people to do, to do things the way that you feel you can do it. It could be that. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing. There's no major arcana cards out right now. So it's nothing big. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, this could be so many different things. I should really narrow these down. Like, this is your love reading. This is your career reading. These general readings, sometimes I'm like, okay, this could be love. This doesn't have to be, but. Three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is a lack of team playing, right? And I feel like it's on your part, Cancer, where you're trying, like I said, trying to do things all on your own. Um, that's exactly what it feels like. And maybe it's maybe at the core of everything is your creativity, your intuition, your um, ability to lead with love, right? Um, you don't need to take on everything. You can, you can definitely, yeah, judgment. Judgment. <sighs> 
The judgment is about. Ooh, Ace of Wands. There's that spark. Like I said, I was feeling the Ace of Wands. That is a gift from the universe. I mean, Ace of Wands is some sort of inspiration, right? It's like you, it feels like it's, it's like you getting re-inspired. Could be somebody coming your way and like giving you a peace offering or something like that, right? But if it if it's if this has to do with like relationships, you are very, very guarded and standing your you you do you are standing your ground in the situation. If somebody is coming forward, you're like, mm -mm, I'm good. Not that you're gonna tell this person to fuck off, but um if it is, let's say, a person coming towards you you're not exactly letting them in right away because you're in this place of like, I'm good by myself. I'm good. I'm okay. The judgment always, when I see the judgment card come out, which by the way, is the only major arcana out. This is about spiritual awakenings. This is about, um, it's about like judgment day. Really. If you think about like the rapture, it's about that surrender as well to hear the call from the universe and allow that call to take you where you need to go. Um, and the judgment upright, it could also be a card of reconciliations as well, um, depending on how you look at it. So it could be somebody come wrapping back around from the past if, if that's something you're open to, right? That's not gonna apply to everybody, so. For those of you watching, thinking like, fuck my ex or fuck that person, like that, obviously that's not your reading. Because if it is somebody who comes back around, possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, A, it's somebody you might not have the most faith in. And so maybe that's why you're protecting yourself. And But B, it's something that you're possibly wanting to happen. So if you're not one of those cancers that wants your ex back, this is this not that this isn't your reading. That's not your story in this reading. If you're one of those cancers that's really focused on your business, focused on um, your work or something like that, like leveling up in work, just getting your spark back in life in general, your sense of self. Um, it's about to happen for you. But. There's a, a, a gentle reminder that you don't need to take on every single task in, in whatever projects you're doing at work. You need to allocate the burden a little bit in life, right? It doesn't have to just apply in work. That means, um, you know, let's say even if you're divorced or something like that, like you, that means you allowing your spouse your ex-spouse or whoever to take on a little bit of the uh, of the responsibilities. There's somebody out there that needs to fucking hear that. And I say that, and that doesn't apply to, maybe it does apply to me. I don't know. Don't be stubborn. Yeah, five of swords. Don't, don't. The Hierophant. Two major arcanas. Wow. There's a serious spiritual level up, like learning a lot of things right now, possibly, right? King of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but just articulating really really articulating feeling a little stuck the three of, of wands in reverse is a little bit of stuck energy um again but it could be because you're taking on too much you're doing too much it could be thinking too much with the five of swords this could be about self-doubt you know um not not you doubting if you have what it takes but maybe you, again, like your trust issues, it feels very like something is playing on your trust issues because you don't trust many people. 
you do things on your own right but this it's because like this card reminds me of somebody who holds on to their resentments um and is always looking for a fight always looking to like look he's ready sword in hand ready to cut bitches off at like at the drop of a dime you don't need to be like that these two cards right here judgment and the hierophant are very much so cards of a well this is a this is a card of commitment right here the hierophant is a card of commitment um but it's also like higher spiritual learning right learning about like this is like the reading up on tarot and like learning about astrology and learning about alchemy and the and and anything spiritual this is the card of actually feeling that feeling the level up having the dreams um allowing the universe to give you the signs and synchronicities and paying attention to those signs and synchronicities so those two cards together could very much so represent some sort of level up or graduation spiritually or i don't know and the king of swords the king of swords is a truth teller the king of swords is i'm i'm almost i'm hearing like storyteller right like it, it's okay to tell your story maybe it's imperative that you do with the with 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 the um ace of wands here and the king of swords it feels very create it, it does feel creative the king of swords isn't necessarily creative the king of swords is very analytical and um can sometimes be a little not rough around the edges but like he's very serious and analytical And he thinks a lot, but he also speaks a lot in truth. He speaks truth a lot. He'll give it to you completely straight, but he won't hurt your feelings. When he's upright, the king of swords is like, this is what it is. But next to the ace of wands, the king of wands, it's very much so some sort of like creative, like something having to do with your sense of self and who you are or what you want out of like life in general. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I don't know. I'll pull three more cards. And then I have this special Zodiac, uh, Cancer Zodiac Oracle deck, just for us, just for us Cancers. See, you guys get special treatment. Page of Cups. Yeah, for some of y'all, somebody could be coming forward. Mm -hmm. The Fool. There's a lot of potential here. This card wanted to come up, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody, it, it could be like, again, stuck energy. Oh, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Again, Fire Sign Energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, that could be in relationships. That could be somebody who finds you very attractive, who is your energetic match, but like maybe doesn't know how to possibly approach you. Night. Um, this is a slate that's wiped clean. And I feel like it comes after some sort of like spiritual reckoning. Maybe this person is, maybe the person you're dealing with is having some sort of awakening moment. Um, the beauty of the fool is that the fool isn't afraid to take that first step. Um, and the, like, there, it, it almost feels like a cleaning of house with you or somebody else. Page of Cups is, again, another, you got the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It's, it's, it's being completely open. I feel like there's either an apology coming, a conversation, a heartfelt conversation coming with somebody. Um, 
And maybe that's what kind of wipes the slate clean. I don't know. I don't know who this fire sign energy is, but. Let's see. Let's let's see what these cancer cards have to say for us. I'm going to pull three. I'm so grateful for the people who love me and who care for me. I give them the affection and appreciation they deserve. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe this page of cups and knight of cups is just you looking around and realizing like, hey, you know, like I got a good support system around me. I'm so happy to be alive. I appreciate every moment of this wonderful journey. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, gratitude here, being grateful for the people around you, being grateful to be alive. You know, I feel like if you're not in that energy cancer, this is, is, is a, is a surefire sign that tells you, you need to get in that energy of like, just gratitude, grateful. Like, even if you're not where you want to be yet, be grateful for where you are. And maybe that kind of shifts. I can handle interpersonal conflict in a mature and objective way. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, somebody might be coming to have a conversation with you, a mature and objective conversation, especially with this King of Swords, could be a conversation on the horizon. You know, somebody coming to speak truth, you speak a truth to another person. Um, kind of wiping the slate clean with somebody possibly, but it's a lot of, if it, if that is the case, it's a very loving, um, clear, mature, concise conversation that consists that, that ends in, um, in potential untapped potential, or just wiping the slate clean, starting anew. um, but like in a, in a good way. So that's what I got for y'all. I hope that made some sort of fucking sense. Uh, I love you guys very much and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.